Hey guys, thanks for joining me today for an awesome ab workout. You don't need any equipment, just meet me on the mat and let's get that core burning. First up, we have kneeing oblique bends. So we're gonna come up to our knee and we're gonna take our one leg out to the side. If you need to modify, you can keep it beside the other one like so. But we're gonna be here, the hand's gonna come up and over. We're gonna do 10 each side and reach as far as you can and then bring it back up. And we're breathing. Good, now we're gonna switch. Same thing on the opposite side here. Hands coming up and over. Good, now we're gonna bring it down to the mat for one leg in and out. So we're gonna lean back, hands are gonna come to the mat. If you're a little bit more advanced, you can raise them up, but we're gonna alternate kicking those legs out and bringing it back, okay? So we're gonna do 20 of these. You can go fast or slow, whatever you're feeling like, okay? So the slower you go, probably the more you're gonna feel it here, but if you wanna speed it up, you can. We're gonna do 20 total certain now. And if you can, just raise those hands up. Good. All right, for our next move, we're gonna bring ourselves down to the mat on our backs, okay? These are gonna be leg drops, so we're gonna be at a 90 degree angle here. You can raise yourself up if you're more advanced. If you need to start with your shoulder blades against the mat, that's fine too. And we're gonna alternate dropping all the way and bringing it back up, keeping that core tight. Again, remember that's what's lifting those legs back up. Do 20 of these. And we're breathing. Good. All right, next we're gonna have straight leg oblique crunch. So again, we're gonna be in that same position, shoulder blades on this one, down to the mat to start. So the feet are going straight up. And when we come up, our opposite leg's gonna come down and this elbow is gonna come to that up leg. So we're here and we're alternating. Gonna go for 12 of these. Keep breathing throughout. One on each side. Good. All right, next we have a bird dog, so we're gonna flip over for that one. Again, through all these moves, we wanna make sure that core is engaged. Okay, we're coming into a tabletop position. Opposite hand, opposite leg, you're gonna come out, and we're gonna meet in the middle. Okay, so we're here, and bringing it together, and straight back out, we're gonna do 10 each side. Good, I'm gonna switch. You might notice one side has a little bit more balance than the other. That's totally fine. Good, now we're gonna go straight into a plank twist. So we're gonna come in on our elbows here, tuck that pelvis. Okay, and we're just gonna twist to the side. You don't have to necessarily touch all the way down. We're just gonna twist back and forth. Good, 
and I did 12 there. Good job. Okay. So we're gonna flip back over for a straight leg crunch. Okay, so again, back is to the mat to start. Legs go straight up. And then when we come up, when legs come down, we're just gonna crunch toward that one side. 12 of these. More each side. Good, whoo, fill in the burn. All right, last move here and then we get a break. We're gonna be doing rope grabs, so we're gonna cross our legs and have them up and we're just gonna pretend that there's a rope hanging from the ceiling. We're gonna grab our longest arms and we're gonna reach, grab that rope and pull it back down. Come all the way down, again, keeping that core engaged throughout. Once you're all the way down, you're gonna reach with the other side. We'll go for 20 here. The more you engage that core, the more you feel the move. And there's 20. Ooh, fill in the burn. Awesome job, guys. Take a quick break here and then meet me back for round two. All right guys, let's go ahead and hop into that second round. Same moves here. We're gonna start with that knee oblique crunch. So legs out to the side, hand comes up and over. For 10 each side. Good, and we're switching here. Same thing on the other side, hands up and over. Awesome, here we go, good. All right, come down. Alright, and again, more advanced, you can lift those hands up. Those of you kind of more moderate to easier level, you can leave those hands on the mat. I like to start there, make sure I get into my groove, and then I pull up from there, okay? So again, one's out, other one's in. 20 of these. Good. All right, next we have leg drops. So bring it down, feet are up, shoulder blades raised if you can. And on this one, that one doesn't drop to the other ones all the way up. Good. All right, next one we have a straight leg oblique crunch. So again, we're back on the mat, feet go straight up. Hands are on our ears. Remember, don't lock behind your head. We don't want extra strain on that neck. And here we go.
good, there's 12. All right, so we're gonna hop up and turn over for that bird dog crunch here. It's fine. So I'm gonna start with the legs down and I'm gonna actually put my hands up when that foot comes up. There we go. Cross. That rope is nice and long here. We're gonna reach. Go for 20 of these. Again, keeping that core tight. Halfway. Let's take one last break and then make me back for our last round. round so let's go ahead and hop into it let's out to the side hand comes up and over for 10 good and switching here we go going five more good all right and we have our straight leg oblique crunch I don't know if you 
coming up with that one. All right, here we go. 12 here. On the right side. Oh, that was that was a sad looking leg drop there. Awesome. Oh, it's burning. All right, so we're flipping over. Bird dog here. Straight leg crunch. So again, we are flat on this one. Alright, here we go. 12 of these. And finishing off with those rope grabs. <laughs> Keep reaching. are too. Thank you for joining me for this quick but powerful ab workout and we'll see you guys next time. Make sure you like and subscribe while you're here.